part 14 of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. Logic dictates that you must learn from the past, from your errors, but when it is involved a Christmas Village, passion completely blur and obscures your brain. Last season, after four months of work, I realized I lacked space for many buildings and figurines. And you know what? This time I realized it one month in advance. And it is even worse. But I promise you I will not cry. At least not in front of that camera. The time of the gathering is approaching very quickly. The time when I will spread all my buildings on top of the layout, trying to figure it out the best possible configuration. And I already know that I will have to squeeze buildings and figurines against each other, having the decency, I hope, to respect a minimum of harmony and aesthetics. After all, overpopulation of big cities was very common all along the Victorian era. And I still have two or three levels completely isolated. Unacceptable.
some minutes ago I told you that I will lack space and it is absolutely true so instead of start crying I decided to build something that will help me access three different levels with a minimum of space really minimum of space and I will use exclusively my uh, white styrofoam, that has, my white extruded styrofoam that has 9mm of thickness. I've got some different pieces there uh, and I've aged all of them with a tin foil like I usually do. Okay, I have three different measures there. The main one it is 32 cm by 10 cm. Okay, by 10 centimeters. Those ones are 60 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And this one is six, no, 4 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Okay. Um, and then I have some white glue, PVC glue, and a couple of brushes and a little a ruler that will be very very helpful in the next minutes okay so uh, from where do i start i will start from here
river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around Oops. Okay, I think I think it can work. Okay, so it works even if I have to make some minor 
mods, some minor modification during the building, but now it works. <laughs> At least it is not mechanical, but it suits my layout. My initial idea was to have one long stairs going up, then going down, but it wasn't very good looking, so I had to change and do some mods. Uh, and then also if I had made one big stairs going up then going down, I still have something to do uh, for crossing the railroad. This way it cross everything and it goes down. Yes, it doesn't go down there directly uh, to the uh, third level. Yes, this is going to 0 0.5 level. This is going nothing to go to the third level. Okay, no problem. I will go to the third level, going first to the third and the half, then going down. A little, a little more complicated, but uh, everything has access to everything right now from the right side of the um, layout. From the left side, I will think later about the left side. And now, so some and rails. Uh, let me just think about some and rails. So I have cut some three centimeters tall pieces, nine by nine millimeters. So three centimeters by zero point nine by zero point nine. Okay. And I will try to go there. All right. I will place one, then I will decide. Okay, I think that the first part concerning assembling, gluing, adding handrails, adding balusters is done. I will wait for some hours before painting everything. I went uh, a little different this time. 
I went with uh, uh, horizontal uh, end railings here on every and single one of the um, sectors that are horizontal. Then for the vertical ones, I added uh, simply some balusters and some uh, small uh, bowls, and some small spheres, uh, exception for the end parts here where the uh, two spheres are uh, bigger here and down there. Let me show you the other side also here. The two uh, <clears throat> finishing uh, spheres are uh, bigger. Uh, why not having hand rails here? Because uh, not too much space uh, for falling down. So I think that this was a little more festive, festive, okay? A little more uh, Christmas, okay? Uh, obviously, I will not paint the balls red, green, blue, white as um, Christmas balls but I will go with some different colors and uh, this is another way of adding entries to a big 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 platform and stairs um, next time I will paint it let me just try it uh, try to put it in place and see from the distance uh, if it suits okay uh, switch of scenario okay sorry I think something was missing yeah good there uh, it took me four hours to complete this first stage here of the platform and of the stairs something different yes another way of doing stairs and platform this is somehow festive somehow Christmas okay and uh, still need to wait uh, for the glue to dry correctly before painting it and the train I have no problem at all going uh, under the platform there so everyone is able to have a good panorama of everything here there going down there to the Greek uh, towards the Greek uh, ancient Greek park there so this is a panoramic platform there uh, level two is, is wasn't uh, isolated, but with the help of these little slope here, then <laughs> need to complete obviously then the platform the stairs. Uh, every and single one of the levels of the layers are now uh, accessible. Uh, still need to add some stairs here and down there, and also the left side completely too. But I will go even more differently in order to add something going to the left to the left side uh, allowing everyone to climb up to the last level not the um, north pole level because I will have a slope there the only access is here in the middle for Santa's who come down or to come up to go up sorry uh, I will have an update as soon as possible with the platform and the stairs I once it has and uh, dry. Uh, let's continue. This part 14 is not finished. Next, I printed something that will help me do uh, what I need for the left side of the layout concerning uh, passage, uh, stairs, everything else. Okay? It will help me access different levels. I just printed this little output there, a profile there. And then I have some pieces of styrofoam, same as before, 9mm stick styrofoam. Those are 12, mm, 12 centimeters, 120 millimeters by 8 centimeters, 80 millimeters, four of them. Then I have one that is almost a square, it is 8 by 7.8, okay? so. 8 centimeters by 7.8 centimeters, almost a square. Then some super glue, then an exacto knife, then some tools. Uh, I will start by cutting this profile and it will help me go through with everything. And obviously, I will not tell you what I'm doing.
it been since I kissed you? I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since I felt like this about anything?
about your love It's like I've been waiting all around for you Why did you take so long to come to me? Maybe you were waiting around for me too So Okay guys, good. Those two are done. I will not tell you yet what I will be doing with those one. Uh, secret for now. And uh, let's continue with something else. Final recap of part 14 of the 2021 series. And once again, I'm starting with a classic from the ancient Greek park section. But not to talk about the park, but to talk about that. Okay, you have just seen me building them, but what are they? Uh, let me just go a little closer and you will immediately understand. Those are truck overpass and I've made two of them. One here, so one here and one there. During the years I made many times uh, uh, stairs going over the railroads or going up and over the railroads, always um, overground. Now I decided to go underground for the first time here. And why? Uh, I, I know I told you that I will lack space, but this corner here is not suitable for anything here. When you have some tracks, it is a wasted this corner here. So, and also there, and this little space here, I cannot put a building there and hoping to have some space for other things. So I decided to go with a couple of uh, track overpass, underground track overpass, and hey, please, I've also made the stairs going down, still need to uh, paint everything here, gray, I think, with some dark, uh, I think, uh, um, black walls, but one, two, three steps going down, and then the overpass here on top of it. I just marked where I wanted to put. The same thing for the other one. There are steps, okay? Three steps even for that one. Let me just, uh, I let a column fall down, oops. Uh, so, uh, the outcome here, uh, I've done, uh, as always, uh, 
uh, let me put it where you can see it okay uh, black one uh, layer of black then one layer one layer of uh, brown then one then some dry brush sienna brown then just vertical some dry white brush and for the roof there okay new technique even here uh, I've reduced my 9mm stick uh, styrofoam in just 3mm stick uh, and this became very very bendable and so I've used it to make some um, sort of metallic uh, roof, tall roof, okay? Then I painted it and please look that it is somehow um, iridescent because I uh, mixed some white some gray and some iridescent silver. So I wanted this to simulate uh, silver. So the, the same reflection as a metal. So I've used that technique I've already used for the uh, signpost, okay? Uh, and this is the overcome. So this is simply uh, printed using uh, my printer, I'm not painted it. Uh, okay, then I finally found a place for my uh, Alice, for my elliptic stairs there, in this corner here, because I also added these platform here, these 20 more centimeters here, maybe more. Uh, yes, I think this is 20 centimeters in order to get some space for an extra building here, or maybe a couple of buildings. Uh, using this so I glued it together then I put it some supports uh, beneath it uh, on, uh, under the, this under this PC I put uh, some um, some support some L-shaped support and finally here the stairs allowing me to access the level here from the ancient Greek park level here you can access the uh, one through third level here, then going under the railroads to the overpass, getting there and then continuing there and there. But I come to the right side <clears throat> in some minutes. So uh, this is uh, okay. Uh, and I also tested if the train and the wagons and the uh, wagons will um, get through without problems. Yes. If I if I had plus placed it right there, I should have had problems. You see, okay. But play, oh, no, you haven't seen. I was saying if I had chosen to place it there, the train would have had problems. It would have stuck there. So I decided to put it there. And this is this is no more waste of space. I will add something else here. Maybe I will uh, add. Uh, trees or some attraction i don't know yet but i've uh, also have this new space here uh one building here yes i think one then another building here or some park here i don't know yet but this is an addition um, so the overlook of the overpass there uh let's switch to the other side guys Nothing changed here, nothing changed here, nothing changed here. No, I don't think I have changed nothing here. Then there, the empty spot. And some days ago, I've reviewed this building here, the Ibn Cove Seaside Retreat. Finally, I can place it there. And it will be is placed there. I will need to add some uh, some more um, crystal clear uh, silicon there in the corner, the, right there. But this is how it will look. Uh, hidden cove, because that is a cove. Hidden cove, seaside, because it is near the side. Retreat. Guest house there. I know mm, it lacks mo some light now, but just remember that I have the street lamp here that will um, pr um, <coughs> project, <coughs> sorry, also light towards the uh, building there. And finally, the spot is no more empty, okay? First a building of the season, first a Lamax building of the season, and I put it there, 
Okay, so one more step then here. Let's go with the big trouble here. I needed a way to climb from this level here, from the uh, medieval building up to the next levels. So I added this slope here, uh, not too uh, steep, so I will have uh, people getting up with no problem. Then another wall here in the back, because I will add something maybe there, it will help me. This is just in the in, in early stage, sorry guys. And then finally, the big, the big, the big <laughs> uh, thing I've done during the this part for thin, four of work for building it, then half an hour just for painting it with simply a black. I still need to complete the painting, but I've just gone with simple uh, black. Uh, a mix of uh, water and black, so this is the my <laughs> usually primer for the um, for everything I've been made. I I, I will made, or I uh, I will be making, or I made, or I'm making. <laughs> Sorry, um, the done there. Okay, balusters too high. No, uh, hand rate too high. No. This is a dangerous, uh, dangerous platform here. I wanted the uh, uh, balusters and and rail half a centimeters higher than the standard one. Normally, I I have the balusters going that way with the end rails, so uh, um, under the ends, under the um, the arms. This is way over the ends. It is intentional because this is dangerous. I don't want people looking down and going uh, down uh, towards uh, fatal death, okay? Uh, so this is also panoramic, as I told you, okay? There, uh, you can see that uh, she can see the ancient Greek part, and if she turn this way, she can look at the, at the uh, dock section here, at the C section there, Okay, so panoramic here, I can access this platform here, the train goes under it without problems, big panorama, panoramic platform, then go down there, we'll go down there towards the three and a half level, then DZ goes up to the fourth level, the big futuristic level there, uh, still need to complete, okay, so this, then here, somewhere here, I will have to add a little stair or something else to access from the three and a half level down to the desert level there and then once again there the overpass there okay so everything is accessible from everywhere oh yes last thing i will show you <laughs> and i will close this final recap of part 14 talking about the signpost i know it is not visible right now but first I need to say something. Yes, I've updated the signpost. Why? Thanks to Robin Wright that last week posted a comment pointing out that my choose of color were absolutely uh, wrong. Uh, I chose a uh, white background with pure red fonts and uh, the monuments were uh, gray at 25-24% opacity. Uh, thanks to Robin Wright expertise, I changed my uh, signpost. Also, thanks to uh, Bram uh, for supporting the uh, comment uh, posted by uh, Robin Wright. Okay, he suggested a, a change of colors, and now the signpost is like this. Okay, a dark gray background with the pure white, simple white fonts and the monuments there are 20, on, I made them uh, on two levels. First level is the pure monuments at 24% opacity, then just the borders of the monuments, 100% opacity, but just the borders of the monuments in white, 
uh, 100% opacity, as I told you. So this is the suggestion of Robin Wright. Thank you, Robin Wright. Now the signpost is very visible, even from the distance. Uh, I, I appreciate all the comments, especially those one that uh, allow me to understand that I made some errors. All comments will always be appreciated. Thank you once again, Robin. Right now, you are certainly thinking that I must be completely out of my mind if I made such a big stare with the platform there when just a few hours ago, at least for me, I was literally crying because I lacked space. And you are absolutely right. But please, uh, just remember that only half of the uh, platform there is occupying new space. The other half is occupying a dead corner for me, a wasted corner. It, all, it happens every time I have a curve on the railroad. It generates these little corners there that can be suitable for a building or micro seeds to little space. Uh, so I would most probably have just some trees or a big rock or something else there. Now, no more wasted corners, not this one on the right, not that one on the left. I decided to go this way, this here, and here. It's not completely wasted this space. I can place something there, a, ma a little micro seed under the platform. Here too, something here happening here. Big, big possibility. And this is proof once again that uh, I can't avoid making things, adding things until the project is completely finished, until I declare it finished, uh, ready for my final video three days before going live with a real video. I will declare it finished. I'm crazy, I know, but at least I assume it. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.